Now let's get another perspective on our lead story on the 2018 budget. I'm now being joined on the news at 10 by the Director General of the Budget Office, Ben Akhabweze. Thank you so much for joining us on the news at 10. Thank you. My pleasure. Now this budget is already raising dust so early in its life. First of all, I'm going to ask you how you react to the allegations of inconsistencies and padding and the inaccuracies that the Senate have discovered. Well, I mean, uh, I just uh, heard about that from the media today. We have absolutely no details about the, what has been characterized as inconsistencies and uh, whatever else. But uh, as for padding, first of all, padding isn't, isn't a standard terminology when it comes to budgeting. And padding is something that crept into our um, you know, budget, Nigerian budgetary lexicon only about two years ago. But padding we understand as meaning unauthorized insertions into the budget. If you recall, two years ago there were allegations that there were unauthorized insertions into the budget proposal at the level of the budget office and then at the level of the National you know, uh, Assembly. Uh, at the level of the budget office, those who were found, found culpable were disciplined and, and certain changes were made. We have since then ensured that uh, you know, ministries, departments and agencies do not submit their budgets in hard copy to the budget office. We designed a system where they input, they upload their budgets directly onto the budget you know, uh, application of the, of the federal government and, and there's an audit trail for every entry that is made and the budget office doesn't take responsibility to for, you know, make those uh, inputs. So the question of anybody in the budget office making any unauthorized insertions no longer arises. So I really am at a loss to understand what, um, you know, the lawmakers may have characterized as padding, but we, right, we, but you know, we look forward to receiving those details. Neither do we know anything about what have been termed inconsistencies. Well, it'll be, it'll be, it will be a good else. idea to, I was just saying, it will be a good idea when you receive it to take a look at it, because that was one of the issues that did come up during the 2016 presentation, um, etc. But let me just turn your attention to something else um, quickly now concerning implementation of the 2017 budget. Uh, beyond the budget being passed, we have this particular, um, that 2017 budget being criticized for poor implementation and etc. Is there anything that you see that we can do that raises red flags and this particular one that you've um, put together quickly now well first of all for the 2017 budget as we all know the budget wasn't passed into law until June 2017 and we need to understand that there are different components of the budget there is the recurrent component of the budget which in our own case amounts to you know 70 percent of the budget this aspect of the budget, which includes payment of salaries, you know, servicing debt, you know, running government, the expenses here have been running on schedule. So when people, you know, talk about 18%, you know, performance of the budget, clearly they cannot be talking about the entire, you know, the overall budget. We're talking now about the capital budget. The capital budget, you could not start, you know, implementing until after the approval. If we have a delay, as we had in approving the budget until June, then after that there are processes when it comes to capital expenditure. There are procurement procedures. Those items that need to be you know, uh, uh, you know, advertised, it takes a minimum of six weeks you know, before all of that happens. Right. And if therefore implementation of the capital budget only started in July, and by the end of October, we have spent 450 uh, you know, billion and you know, this month, the commitment to release another 750 billion naira on the budget. Clearly, the implementation could be, you know, better. And but it was always clear, given that, you know, the budget was approved only in uh, June, right. that we couldn't achieve a 100% implementation of the capital component of the budget within the limited time. And that's why we designed the 2018 budget with a view 
to rolling over at least 50 percent of the you know the, the the items included in the 2017 budget these items have been included in the 2018 budget proposals before the national assembly and the expectation is that if we then have a budget approved by january and we have a full year's implementation oh. we will put paid to this specter of you know uh, you know, poor implementation of, of, of budgets. So right. It's closely related also to, uh, you know, delayed approval of the budgets. All right. There were also issues to do with that rollover, which we cannot discuss now. I'm going to thank you, the Director General of the Budget Office, Ben Akwebuze, for sharing our thoughts on the news at 10 tonight. Thank you.